Hello and welcome to the Taskmaster podcast. I'm Ed Gamble. Let's let's not beat around the bush. We're nearing the end of series 11, guys. It's very sad, but it look, it's exciting because we all started off, didn't we, thinking the first four episodes Sarah Kendall has got this nailed. She is going to run away with this, but it's just getting closer and closer. People are coming out of their shell. They're showing what they're good at. There's people flourishing out there. So it's getting more and more exciting as we get down to the last two episodes. Hopefully you've all watched the penultimate episode, episode nine, because that's what we're going to be talking about today in the Taskmaster podcast with the brilliant Margaret Caborn Smith, who is my special guest. She is a wonderful actor, writer, comedian, podcaster. She's a podcaster in her own right. She co-hosts the brilliant Do The Right Thing podcast, which I urge you to check out. Uh, And as an actor, she's also appearing in the current series of Motherland. And you can check that out. BBC, check it out on the iPlayer if you're busy bods. Uh, Now, for Taskmaster itself, of course, check that out on all four. It's on Thursdays at 9pm on Channel 4, all four to catch up. Uh, But if you have more sensitive ears in the house, uh, be they children, be they old people, be they Victorian prudes, you can get the bleeped versions on all four as well. And obviously, if you have any questions for us, or you just want to insult me, email us, taskmasterpodcast at gmail.com, and maybe one of your emails might get read out to one of our special guests. But let's crack on with it. Uh, As discussing episode 9 of series 11 of Taskmaster, it's my special guest, Margaret K. Bourne-Smith. Welcome, Margaret, to the Taskmaster podcast. Hello! I'm Hello. very excited to be here. Well, thank you very much for it's coming It's like on. Christmas. I, w- I couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited. Are you so giddy and excited? <laughs> or you were dreading yeah. it? Either way, either way, the sleep was interrupted. <laughs> no, I don't dread Christmas. What sort of person do you think I am? Well, I guess it depends what you've got planned for the Christmas, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's right. the excitement of Christmas in general, and then if there's you know lots of people coming over, or you're in charge of cooking the turkey. Yes, and I do buy a lot of bad presents. Well, there we but, go. You know, all so night garage sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, um, we're gonna well, we're gonna discuss series eleven, episode nine. Hopefully, uh, you've not brought any of your takes on the tasks from an all night garage. <laughs> you know what? Lovely. I halfway through that, I thought this isn't good. <laughs> And then for a second, I was like, actually, it might be quite good. But yeah, I think we landed think... on it being quite poor. <laughs> I think you sell it. Yeah. I liked it. <laughs> Sold it, absolutely. <laughs> now, of course, um, occasionally on this podcast, we have uh, people who've not been on the show yet, but are uh, fans of the show. Yes. Now, you've told me many, many times you are going to prove yourself to be a <laughs> mega fan of Taskmaster on this podcast. I am a proper, proper mega fan, yeah. I sent Alex... Um, a sort of fan email, which is weird because I know him. Yeah. You know, you're not supposed to yeah. send fan mail to people you know. But I just, I honestly had the thing where I was just in lockdown and thinking, this has so been a saviour. Like it's, my whole family love it. Yeah. Uh, to the point where it's saved quite a lot of, um, you know, conversations. You can just put it on are... if there's an awkward silence. No, we can talk about it. We can, we can discuss, Great. you know, if there's, if there's an argument brewing, you can just say, have you seen Taskmaster? That's yeah, so it's very yeah. difficult to argue if Taskmaster's on or you're talking about Taskmaster because it's so silly and so yes. sort of uh, frothy and almost almost meaningless in a very fun way. What? It's di- you know what I <laughs> mean? Meaningless? No, I do know what you mean. You know mean. what I mean. Um, so it's very difficult to sort of, uh, you know, get angry or dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Master's assuming... Involved. You you can manage it, Ed. Being oh the yeah, le- level of competitive that you oh, are. Oh god, yeah. I yeah. I, I turn. I turned it dark. <laughs> that I, it I mean, dark. your face when you were um, dealing with David Baddiel on stage during yeah. the the Pictionary round or whatever it was. Yeah. Was I mean, it's burned on my brain. It's so little competitive boy having a meltdown. Yeah, yeah so I was. Good. Yeah, very angry at David. I mean, David's such an interesting guy, isn't he? Because there, there is that David we know now, whereas before we only knew the the, the hyper intelligent David. Yes. And now he's back to being hyper intelligent, David. You know, he's releasing very interesting books. He's, you know, he's talking about <laughs> some, you know, pretty pretty deep topics uh, at the moment. But all I can and think of now is, is just a, like is a last Sue covered in spoons. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he is many layered, is David. Yes. 
Um, so yes, you're a fa- you're a fan of the show. Do you have any particular highlights? Do you have like a favorite series, favorite contestants, favorite tasks? What what if someone says to you, "Tell me something about Taskmaster." What's the first thing that occurs? Oh well, I mean, obviously, Joe Wilkinson and the potato. That's potato, what. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> although apparently. I was saying this, my husband tells me that there's new footage. <laughs> this is like proper conspiracy yeah. levels. New footage that shows he didn't actually tread on the red green. Like it's a I different it. camera angle, you know, like the Zapruder footage or whatever. From the yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's going to be a whole Netflix documentary about it. <laughs> yes, I love the idea. But I mean, uh, you know, the, the watermelon, was the watermelon the very first task? Like watching yes. Ramesh smashing, yeah, that, smashing I think a watermelon that was the first on the floor. Task, yeah. Then, yeah, I mean, I think I think you could just dip into it at any point. Yes. And say, you know, get involved. Now, I know, I know, yes, we've got watermelon, we've got potato, but I know you're yeah. a mega fan, so I know you've got some more obscure ones, tasks that you enjoyed the most. Well... The, probably the series, and I'm, and no offence, and I did love, love your Please, series. It's fine. <laughs> it's not. It's never fine. Please, but, uh, it's fine. You, you I've got the trophy. Me. I've got the trophy in frame. <laughs> yeah. Um, the well, I could watch James A. Custer losing it with Rod Gilbert yeah. all day long. All of those group tasks. I mean, I yeah. really enjoy. I also really enjoy it when properly alpha people are really bad at things and because yeah, there's nowhere nowhere to hide and I've been, really enjoyed this series with Lee as well but Lee and and Rod and people who are just not used to looking like mugs <laughs> and, and watching them just be appalling at things because that is the good thing about Taskmaster is it's there's nowhere to hide everybody's bad at something on yeah. Taskmaster even the weirdly sporty people like Noel Fielding and Russell Howard are you're yeah. a bit like, oh, c- come on. Why have you got ball skills? You're a comedian. It's annoying. <laughs> like watching Noel Fielding playing Keepy Uppy in his cowboy boots. It's like, piss off. Come on. <laughs> be bad at something. <laughs> yeah, and that, you're right. There's always It's always around the corner for them to be bad, bad at something. I just remember yes. when Russell, Russell, like they did the dart throwing thing in series six. Oh, And God. he was just amazing at it. And then... Yeah. There were some other things he was really good at sports wise, and then you're yeah. like, "No, I want to, I want to see you fail, mate." <laughs> but then, my favourite bit of that series is Lisa Talbuck in the in the studio <laughs> bit, going, "Oh, just call your manager," because that was the, ep- <laughs> the episode in which he rung his manager to get him an yes. Uber somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> and you were like, "No, that is not the spirit of the show." It's well, like, me and Russell have the same. Do. Me and Russell have the same manager, uh, and I suspect if I tried that, it would have gone straight to voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> so this this current this current series yes. uh you know we're on episode 9 we're nearing nearing the end of it do you have yeah. any uh, do you have any favorite uh, contestants is is there anyone you're rooting for in this series Well I genuinely this series almost more than any other I I keep thinking they're my favorite and then thinking oh no they're my favorite they're my yeah. favorite I um Jamali's the one that I don't know at all and I think he might be my all-time favorite contestant yeah. because nobody has been like him nobody has played no. the game like the very first episode where I can't remember what he said but something that was just completely like just took the wind out of Greg's sails, and you could just see Greg going, "Oh my, oh what is yeah. this? Who this is not here? something." Yeah. That, he's like a sort of trickster god or something. Yeah. <laughs> he's completely. <clears throat> but what I love about it is it's completely authentic. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like I think that there are people because I often think, "Oh, my career would be better if I just." just cared a bit less if I just seemed yeah. a bit cooler but the truth is that doesn't work you need to actually be that cool you need you just to need be... to be your natural self right and that's that's yes. him yeah yeah exactly he is just an anarchist at heart yeah <laughs> he's just he's just quite happy to just immediately fuck things up just whatever yeah. he does well but I'll he's, never he's forget very polite with it as well he is very him. polite he's a lovely boy um, yeah. but he genuinely doesn't give a shit most of the yes. time yes and the episode, I think it was episode six, because I think it was overshadowed by Mike's ass, but um, it's 
is where he stamps on everything, yes. which we've talked we've talked about on the podcast before. But it's just incredible that he didn't know they were all going to be stitched together in that episode. Those tasks, so he just <laughs> happened to be stamping. But he on did everything. in this episode as well, didn't he? I'm sure he stamped on something. Oh, I'm sure he stamped in on this something. Episode as well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the thing. But the nice thing about it is it never seems to be out of rage. Like, he doesn't seem no. to have a kind of built-up, you know, re- no. repressed anger. It's just like, oh, you just you just stamp on it. It's, it's the quickest way the opportunity, you can do something. <laughs> stamp, stamp on it. <laughs> and the stamp wallet, away. the wallet where he, where he discovered everything. I mean, yeah. my daughter and I, we were way more excited than he was. Yeah. Oh, God. can you imagine? <laughs> he was like, yeah, fine. Being I, on the show and discovering that. Yeah, I mean, we'd. But I think we'd both lose our minds, wouldn't Absolutely we, if we did that? Absolutely lose. Yeah, because I love it when that happens as well. I'm always, uh, you know, um, I'm always gutted when people don't find that. You know, yeah. the the under the table one, the Richard Osman. Yes, the bridge, uh, the bridge building. Yeah, the bridge, yeah. the bridge building thing. I was so, so desperate for somebody yeah. to find it out, and also the um, the sugar and salt reveal in yes. this one it's just it's what you want is you want one person yeah. to work it out that's the most fun thing that can happen i wonder whether in the sugar or salt one if they hadn't worked it out would they have told would they have told them or would they have just i've been thinking about this as well because it just wouldn't have been very fun i mean no. a, yeah alex must have been watching that going please somebody yeah. somebody work it out because it just would have been like oh right yeah um, no so i wonder if around. there's any other tasks out there <gasps> Where oh, we there was a, him. a trick of solving them, but they never revealed it because it just wouldn't have it wouldn't have worked out. We should we should ask yes. him. I feel bad because I am friends with Alex uh, and I get on with him very well. But all of my texts are like, <laughs> Alex, can I ask a question about this most recent episode of Taskmaster? <laughs> Prize the prize task. The prize task. Nattiest, nattiest knitwear. Mm. Now, Margaret, first question for you. How would you define natty? I think it's an incredibly difficult thing to define. Well, Ed. Yes. Because I'm a big show off and I have Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like Jamali. I have the internet. Yeah. I've got the definition here. Great. Let's hear it. Okay. Smart, sharp, dashing, elegant, trim, neat, fashionable, stylish, trendy. British informal. And then it gets more like chic, spruce, dapper. It's old fashioned. Yeah. That's the thing. I think it's old fashioned cool. Yeah. It's something you can imagine a nan saying, right? They say, oh, that's yes, natty. Natty. Yeah. Natty. Yeah. It's almost wartime, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so it's something I've... that would impress your nan. But <laughs> right, so, yeah. So something, so something smart or like jazzy, I guess, like maybe a bit colourful. Yes, but not too modern and, and snazzy. No, exactly. I'm picturing seventies. Nothing, yeah. nothing more recent than. So, given than that 70s. definition, oh, it's hard. I don't think. What would you? Many have done? of them actually did it. Oh, I think none of them did it. I think, <laughs> I think Charlotte, <laughs> Charlotte was closest. So I'm all right with her. With the knitted nose warmer thing, because yeah. it was horrible. But I suppose you could say this is cool. Liz was just. A, a horror show. Well, yeah, let's talk about Lee's because he's yeah. got four points for this. It is not natty at all. It's horrific. No. There was a wig oh, sewn sewn onto the, the face jumper. It was what, horrible. What, what is that? It's sort of, yeah, cosy, cosy and horrific. Like Yeah, it was mid, like a sort of... Um, Midsummer Murders like a, or something. Yeah, mid- <laughs> <laughs> like a Christmas... Like uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's the vibe <laughs> it gave off. I think it was really like something from The Purge. It was really yes! uncanny, yes, wasn't it? I did not saying, like it. Can we do The Purge for kids? And yeah. Like, yes, all right. This is how we dress them. Yeah, no. He was very lucky horrible. to get four points for that. Did not, I did not yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, I, I think no. And I think it's got to the point in the series where um, everybody's a bit scared that Lee might actually... <laughs> <laughs> like sh- shoot up the place uh, yeah. <laughs> so, people, so I feel like Greg's being a little bit gentler with him in the studio point. yeah I think yeah. Lee is the Lee's the most unhinged isn't he yes <laughs> yeah yeah a lot is. of repressed rage also I think Greg has an innate respect for Lee anyway yeah well so they're think... both that alpha thing aren't they yeah like you wouldn't want to see Greg on Taskmaster because he would look like a lion in a cage, you know, like a big sad lion. <laughs> you want to see him being king of everything and, you know, terrifying people. That oh right, that's gonna stick with me forever now. You know when you hear a description of someone and you're like, I'm never gonna forget that. I'm gonna think about it every time I I see them. 
an old lion in a bad zoo. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, well, I can't see the lion. I can't. And then you're like, oh no, look behind there that bush. There he is. It looks oh, like it's been God. crying for a yeah. decade. <laughs> Just coming up and butting the glass. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mike's uh, Greg Davis balaclava. Mm. Again, now not you... not natty, but a nice no. idea. Yeah. Now I'm usually a big fan of Mike's. Um, you know, uh, prize tasks, yes. especially. But this was. It's a little bit puby you know <laughs> it was like it was a bit gross and also he didn't see it was it greg because greg doesn't have those straggly beard you know black no. beard thing the, the eyebrows were good the yeah the eyebrows are great the eyebrows are really what marks marks yeah. it out as greg really but yes the, you're right about the puby thing they're just not yeah, enough no. gray hairs on there to be no. a <laughs> full head of hair or a beard so they were just yeah, single exactly. strands it was very odd yeah exactly the frog jumper, bit bit lame. It was a bit um, lame, but if we're taking that definition natty, of natty, that's yep, actually that's the closest. most natty. Yeah, <clears throat> you're right. You're right. If that had a matching blazer, for example, then that. Because <laughs> I'm imagining like a seventies three piece knitted suit yes. or something. That's what yeah, I think is a definitely natty. Yeah. Ooh, natty. I'm just imagining a nan natty. going down the line and looking <gasps> at everything. And the nan would probably, the frog jumper would be like, oh, that's natty. Yes. A, fro a froggy no, jumper. No, you're right. You're right. That should have probably been. been but it was there. What the, did it get in the end? It got two points. I mean, it was yeah, the no, most, it, it was probably the most boring standard, album. Standard, yeah. Yeah, because at least Jamali was honest. I really, about not knowing what natty was, he couldn't be bothered to look it up. So he just got a jumper and, it, but, well, he said he embroidered know, natty oh, across it. Oh, do you it. think he didn't embroider it? Because that embroidery was really impressive. Yeah. That, to me, absolutely stinks of getting one of the production team to do it. Because <laughs> he oh, said that was see? his jumper. Lee called him out on that straight away. He's like, there's no way you own that jumper. He's like, no, I did. I do I own that jumper. It's one of my favourite jumpers. I've never seen oh, Jamali wearing ruined. knitwear. <laughs> you've ruined this. I was really impressed. <laughs> but that's classic Jamali, I think. Um, just the, yeah, I couldn't really be bothered to look it up. So let's just yeah, whack Natty I mean... across her. I loved it, hearing him on this podcast saying it's good money, but it's not good enough for homework. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny for people like you and me who are like, oh, please, please give yeah. me more to do. I'd like to spend all of my work, my living day and nights <laughs> doing more tasks for you. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I didn't know what Natty meant. Yep. So, uh, you could have asked someone. Yeah, I could have, but you know, I, it was, it was, I was at home. Have you got internet? No. Okay. No, no, no internet in my house. No internet, no phone. No, no sorry, sorry, Greg, we don't all live like you. Um, so... <laughs> Task one, make the most impressive and realistic weather for Taskmaster Island. You have 30 minutes and your weather must last for no more than eight minutes. Your time starts now. Good you see, task. You, even you saying this, it makes me... <laughs> you panic. Like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, God, oh, God. My what time, oh, God. <laughs> oh, I mean, extra points in my heart for Lee, because anyone who actually hurts themselves during a task, yeah. I'm like, yes, yeah, 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 you've actually injured yourself. You've actually, you, you've come out hacking out of that couch. Did you, you know, did he's you probably have... taken a few hours off his life. Oh, for in, sure. Inhaling all of that. Oh, absolutely. Did you have any instant thoughts when when the task came up, did you think, I know what I'd do or I know the sort of thing that I'd go for? I, I was think my immediate thought was I've always wanted to let off one of those uh, fire extinguishers that has the foam in it. <laughs> I don't know if they have those in the house, but that is what, that's what I'd go for immediately. And like what weather would, of... what weather would be? <laughs> <laughs> we must look like some weather. I don't know. <laughs> A huge lump of foam falling on the sky. I mean, it's better than those ice cubes. Like, all, the yeah. ice cubes looked rubbish. Yeah, they did. All of yeah. the ice cubes looked rubbish. Um, so I felt like, no, that might be a snowfall, mightn't it? I mean, if there was a snowstorm like that, I th I think it would be, <laughs> I'd be on the news, wouldn't it? It'd be yeah. the headline news. You're right. It's more like an Ibiza, an Ibiza foam party. <laughs> it's a but, foam party. <laughs> which is, yeah, it exactly. isn't weather. <laughs> it isn't weather. <laughs> Though, but, but Charlotte was trying to say that, that a rainbow and a tsunami weren't weather and i would argue that they they definitely are weather aren't they i think they're the res are they the result of weather oh, i guess you could oh, say oh okay all right yeah. yeah so you would need the the weather that causes them but then i think there's you know mike did the rainbow of course so yeah um 
But Lee, so Lee's the Lee yeah. Mac Hurricane P Super. <laughs> yeah. Only got one point, but I I quite liked I, it. I uh, totally agree. I thought yeah. it was it was, and it was really different. The others all had things in common. I thought, and he was like, "Oh, this is thinking outside the box." I don't know if he was being punished for the fact that it was a bit of an accident that it. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was an accident, good. and he talked himself out. Yes. Of it being weather halfway through, saying it was pollution, <laughs> and then out loud said, "Oh no, I better not say that. <laughs> I better not say that." Um, yeah. So I think that was that was part of it, but I. I think he had one idea, one good idea, and stuck to it, whereas the others threw everything at it that they possibly yes, could. Yes, yeah. So I think it was a bit harsh to only give him one point. Yeah, I agree. I think he should have had four. Four I, points? There well, we go. I thought... Yeah, no, I mean, actually, I did like Jamali's. It was hilarious when Jamali started it. I just, before he did anything, I was like, he's setting fire to this. Oh, yeah. Like, he's 100% setting fire to this. I assume <laughs> that every single task that Jamali had to do, <laughs> he tried to get fire into it. Yeah. I mean, I assume that was, his, that was his own <clears throat> blowtorch that he just yeah. had in his yeah, pocket. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just whipped it out of his pocket. <laughs> I, I think I respected Jamali's the most. Mm. I mean, pro I can see why it was two points because it was not realistic weather in the slightest no but, but it, it was good it was it, it was, was impressive it was, i mean when I those could... hailstones came down i pissed oh, myself wow. laughing yeah and i felt like they were um i mean what was it coal or something i think it was, was um gravel from outside on gravel. the drive he just went and got a bucket of gravel and then just dumped it on but they also looked like massive cockroaches or something. Like it was properly biblical. Yeah, <laughs> really, really, really apocalyptic. Really yeah. I mean, what I enjoyed during that was um, I, I always like it when you can sort of hear Alex thinking, oh, we're going to have to, you know, buy more of this stuff because oh, he's not, yeah. ruined it all. If it was me, I'd be like, Jamali has to do everything last because he's going to destroy <laughs> it. <laughs> That's what I felt. Yeah, that's um, the thing. You can always see it on Alex's face when that... Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, you, have, you have more props now. This. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's when Lisa Tarbuck again getting another shout out when they had to send the little man on a journey in series six and uh, she had the little man run over <laughs> and they cut back to the studio and Alex went, That was our only little man. That <laughs> <laughs> was our right. It's such a sad catchphrase. <laughs> yeah. That, that <laughs> was our only little man. <laughs> I was a huge fan of Sarah in this task as well uh, because of the um, the saying out loud i think we need a blizzard and then going <gasps> yeah, blizzard. yeah blizzard yeah that's a proper um yeah she could have merch with that on yeah yeah blizzard <laughs> yeah, and then also yeah, during blizzard. during the task when she was doing the weather shouted at the top of her voice shit guys which <laughs> absolutely loved that yeah yeah she was good at being god yes oh yeah she takes it so seriously Super. i've got so much respect yes. for that yes like the only um that the bit where she was, you could see she was really enjoying herself. Like this is a, a, in the different episode with the yeah. um, when she was making Alex have that Fanta soaked yeah. meal that she made, <laughs> and she was properly giggling. And I was like, oh, she is having a good time because the rest of the time she's so serious. Yeah, it's like yeah, she's yeah. you know doing this as a job. It's a yeah, <laughs> and you can really see it on her face when she's disappointed in what she's done. As yes, well. she's oh, it's properly heartbreaking. Like, pro probably like angry at herself when she messes yeah. it up. <laughs> um, Mike uh, did thunder lightning uh, and then tried to do a real <laughs> rainbow and then had I mean the most pathetic backup oh rainbow I've ever seen now I think he got four points for this I think he was massively overscored massively massively overscored and uh, like I feel like he listen if he'd achieved a genuine rainbow yeah then then he'd have five absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah five points yeah, De yeah. definitely would have um would have managed that but that yeah he was so just having that idea isn't yes, enough to get it's not points. enough and especially when you fall back on what's it three pieces of gaffer tape and <laughs> crouching behind not the table even, looking yeah. so sad <laughs> it looked like he looked like it was um, a search warrant or something. <laughs> he was, like, or a business card that he was sort yeah. of just waving really pathetically. Yeah. Going, oh, please, I'm Mike Wozniak. <laughs> um, yeah, emergency rainbow. Yeah, it's like... It's like someone had suddenly said, we're going to Pride, you need a flag. And he just <laughs> panic made one. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't realistic. It, 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 if we're marking no. Jamali down for not being realistic then you need to mark Mike down as well. Yeah. And at least Jamali's was like, couldn't give a shit, just dump a load uh, of stones. But on. also, also Jamali's was realistic because like in California now, fire is a season. Like they're like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's the, you know, summer. 
that's fire season and that's what's on the weather. So I would argue that fire is a weather. I, I think you're maybe being slightly generous <laughs> because the fire in California, as far as I'm aware, is not in the sea. <laughs> well, you say that, but I remember my, my dad uh, worked in Cleveland for a bit and he, he came home once and he said, yeah, the, it's not the greatest place. The river caught fire this weekend. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so it, is, it was so, it so polluted. Happen. that can't uh, happen. Yeah. That must yeah. be what Jamali was referencing there. Yes, if only. Is your dad working in Cleveland? <laughs> 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 uh, we should talk about Charlotte because it was five points for Charlotte and I think she deserved it. I agree. I thought it was brilliant. I thought, really did good. she do something with the lighting that was It was the was light. Different. She turned the light off yes, and then flashed the a torch. Off through the water so it, it really looked like phenomenal. lightning it was really yeah. good yeah 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 that that absolutely was the, the key to it was because yeah, any, any other light that they that the others did was just yeah yeah because they left the lights on so yeah like mike was flashing the torch but if you flash a torch when all the other lights are on it just doesn't look that good <laughs> no and for a man who's trying to create a rainbow he should have yeah. known that really um, and yeah, she put the hose through the colander and just shows you where I'm at in my life that my first thought there was, I've got that colander. <laughs> so I've got it downstairs in my cupboard. Did you I'll go and that. get it? Yeah, <laughs> just waving it at my laptop. Uh, I when thought, they do I, the Taskmaster <laughs> tour, you can all yeah. take your colander along. <laughs> I've got right. that colander. I'll, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll mention that on a podcast. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Um, she was having a great time as well. I like seeing Charlotte do well at stuff and have yes. a great time rather yes. than do badly and panic, which seems to be her normal state. <laughs> Just those big eyes yeah. <laughs> filling with tears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, another five points for Charlotte. That's uh, that's two five points in a row. It's like yes. a different contestant. Yeah, um, she's finally, yeah, she's found her voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Episode nine. <laughs> little, little bit late, Charlotte, but, you know, all power to you. Uh, but task- I really liked it in, in her episode of the podcast when she was like saying that she was watching herself and just going, just say something. It's been seven episodes. Why are you just taking this? Just I really felt for something. her. <laughs> and instead, she just looks horrified that people are being so mean to her. Yeah. I mean, it's it's an awful experience anyway, having to watch back your tasks because you know what you've done. And you can't do anything about it. So you're watching yeah. yourself going, why did you do that? But to then have that watching the studio as well. Yeah. Watching yourself, thinking. watching yourself and thinking both <laughs> these versions of me aren't doing what I want them to. Well, what have we got? We've got rain. Sun, snow. We've got snow. Say snow. I was going to maybe make it rain and, and, and wind. Or maybe snow. Snow might look better. Rainbows. It's not weather. Do you have a fan? Tornadoes. Hurricane. A twisters. Whirlwind. Tidal waves. That's not weather either. And I might even set up a, a, a hair dryer as well, because then it can be like a blizzard. Yeah, a blizzard. Uh, task two, build a tower, then topple your tower so the yogurt lands in a numbered square. You have one yogurt and one toppling attempt. Uh, highest score wins. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. I would have found this so stressful, Margaret. Oh, my God. Would you have enjoyed it? No, I would have found it really, really stressful as well. I think... I don't know about you. I wouldn't have bothered doing any measuring at all. No. You know, they're trying to work out how high this is going to be. It's obviously no, going to no, be no. really hard to build any tower yeah. at all. Yeah. Just, just start. You know, I was stressed with the people, you know, yeah. laying out their little tubes. I mean, actually, what, but watching Charlotte's boxes blow away was particularly tragic. Oh, God. <laughs> all of her stuff's just gone now. and she was just Any like, building oh, stuff oh dear. just fills me with fills me with dread just having yes. to build stuff and then it falling apart and then ugh, horrible especially when you know that the stuff they've provided is shit useless like there's uh, absolutely, absolutely useless. useless lee's was amazing the the folding of the cardboard inside the tubes yeah that seemed properly yeah effective i don't know if i'd have got there I'd trust, i definitely would have I'd made a few lee. boxes i would trust lee yeah with diy i think yes but weirdly, Jamali, I mean, when Jamali started, I was like, oh, this is fit. This is really fit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I suddenly thought, I remember that he built a tattoo gun out of like yes. yogurt pots or whatever. Like and a prison like, tattoo gun, yeah. Yeah, amazing. And um, I'd be, any, anyone doing anything competently, I find attractive. Yes. <laughs> I don't see enough of it in my life. Um, 
<laughs> well, yes, there wasn't was... a huge amount of that going on in this task, to be fair. <laughs> no, yeah, it didn't. It didn't last long. No. Andy, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, poor Jamali had to do it in the pouring rain, which yeah. I always, I always I know, think that is, is unfair. unfair. Definitely. So in our series, every time Rose had to do something outside, it was raining. Every day she was there, it was raining. Oh, my God. Well, she did well considering then. Yeah. And I felt bad for her now at the time. I was like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to win this. Bad luck. God um, hates Yeah. You. <laughs> I remember Tim Key trying to do, trying to do a, a picture in the rain. Yes. And, was it the and horse? Was saying, it the horse one? No, it was the the one where you had to you had to draw something using uh, a sat nav sort of thing. Yes, yeah, yeah, I pitch. remember. Yeah, yeah. And I think he said it was the worst day of his life. And I, <laughs> I sort of, I sort of get that. Trying and I mean, wet cardboard as well. Yeah, nightmare. Like cardboard's not great for building anyway. No. The wet cardboard is yeah was especially was when bad. you're Jamali and you don't really care anyway. So when yes. that when 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 also the conditions are bad, like you just want to he's go. not going to try, is he? You just want to no. you just want to go. Um, and when Alex told him to say please, I did think if that was me, I'd be I'd be kicking his shins at this oh, point. <laughs> so I'd, I'd be gone. I'd be walking off, <laughs> attacking him with wet yeah. cardboard. <laughs> I need a car home now. Um, Sarah uh, got four points. Um, she, I mean, she did a pretty good job, and I think she deserved those four points for uh, is it yogurt or is it poo? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, she went for it. She really looked like um, a, a four, not four, four person as well. I really felt like she had the attitude of a yeah, master definitely. builder. Yeah, she did. She has that authority, doesn't she? Yes, yeah. Um, this is the second time she's just popped something in her mouth to check. There's the salt and sugar <laughs> task when she when she realised, yes. when she tasted it, it was like, ah. Oh. And now she's like she's like a detective who solves crimes by tasting things with her tongue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and she did some weird tongue prodding on yeah. the batter test as well. Okay, um, is it yogurt or is it poo? I mean, luckily, <laughs> happy to yogurt to test it. Oh, yeah, because she could have got Alex to test that, couldn't she? Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> fair point, poor guy. <laughs> that's I love. That's your first thought. <laughs> Definitely get Alex to test if it's yogurt oh, or is it poo. Yeah, at the end of every task, get Alex to lick something to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> prove something. Um, Charlotte, another five points for her for getting a tiny bit. I mean, this is very much one of those ones where if you're doing a task, you've got to persevere, even if you're doing terribly, because you just hope everyone else did way worse than you. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Five points for being the least bad. I knew as soon as she got a bit of into four, I was yeah. like, because I could see from the start, this is going to be one of those ones. Yeah, That absolutely. is just almost impossible to achieve. Yeah, um, because, well, <laughs> as Lee and Mike proved, um, Lee, I mean, it was a spectacular failure. You could see as soon as it started falling that it was just going off to the left. And he still had the temerity to shout at Alex and say, did you touch that halfway down? Because it was going straight on. It wasn't. You can see the replay. It was never going straight. It was always falling out. Yeah. His rage. I mean, yeah, the, I think the Northern Farmer character is absolutely spot on. Yeah. He's, like, he's got so a real angry. Tony Martin about him. You know, do you know Tony Martin? I really feel like he might have shot some people for going onto his property. <laughs> <clears throat> And I loved the blaming of Alex, and I can absolutely yeah. imagine doing that as well. Because oh, I, I felt like it, yeah. Charlotte was close. Because I tell you, the, the one, the only reason that I wouldn't want to do Taskmaster is that I would definitely cry at some point. <laughs> <laughs> it would be utterly humiliating. But you sort of think there's some some points where you're just so weak. Like she's, yeah. What does she say? It's like there, there's that then, or, or something. As <laughs> she left, she was like, that's. That's that then, and bye bye. <laughs> um, you know, it's just so, it's just so heartbreaking, and I know yeah, that I'd, it I'd really have is. My eyes filled with tears. Like Catherine also Ryan that... cried in her, you know, when she was trying to describe what she doesn't get about sport. Yeah. <laughs> it's that thing of like being upset and and frustrated about something. And feeling like, oh God, I think I think I might cry, and then remembering how stupid it is, and that makes it worse in a way. You're like, oh God, I'm so, oh my God, so, I'm so much pathetic. Worse. <laughs> I, I cried. I, I mean, I, I cried with my, doing some bowling with my family a few years back, like you know, mid thirties. Me and yeah. my and my thirteen year old niece both had a bit of a cry because oh we were bad at bowling. Bad at bowling. It's so embarrassing. But then you're crying because of the embarrassment as well. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh God. Yeah, well, Catherine Parkinson crying. looked like she was going to cry in yes. the studio every week. Yeah, no, I thought she was yeah. all the time. <laughs> really funny. Um, Mike found found the <gasps> ladder. Oh, 
the parable of Wozniak in this. Yeah. Incredible. See, I think that's. I cheered. I think that's one where they the might ladder. have left it. They might have, if they if they hadn't found the ladder. I think I'm not sure they would have shown that the ladder yes, was in there. Yes, agreed, agreed. Yeah. But he still he still managed him, to fail. I loved him saying it made me arrogant and complacent. <laughs> Absolutely. I thought I had the keys to the kingdom. <laughs> very good yeah. he was like you know in um uh, a disaster film he's like a yeah. disaster film in the 70s where it's somebody who's whose incompetence destroys yeah. lives but you, you're sort of still rooting for him because yeah he's so he's so nice like get yourself to a safe place oh, so <laughs> it's funny so so sweet and that's um, so many words to fit into that small <laughs> yes as an Not instinctive thing watch out shout. surely yeah is, yeah or Watch out! It would have been fine, but get yourself to a safe place. <laughs> I did a um, uh, I was once in in Bristol with my then boyfriend, and uh, and he was like he he was a student there, and he was like, oh, I remember, I know this thing that you that you'd like, and he took me to this big um, it's big rock that uh, that's been sort of smooth glassed over for right. um, the, because students always sliding down it, and he said you'll love this, and I was like yes yes, and I threw myself <laughs> off this thing, and as I was sliding down, we both realised at the same time. To stop students doing this, they'd concreted the bottom oh, of it. <laughs> but as I went, I shouted, involuntarily, I shouted, I'm going to hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so... And bless him, he didn't, until he found out it was all right. I mean, then he pissed himself laughing yeah. for about half an hour. That's amazing what comes but out, was, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so embarrassing. It's like, oh, that's what's that's. I'm going to hurt myself. Me. <laughs> that's quite Wozniak, isn't it? Yes. He'd have done it in a more Victorian way, but um... yeah, and yeah, as Greg said, if you'd made all that effort and then the yogurt falls all over your back, I would have lost it. <laughs> and Mike went with hoopla. <laughs> Yeah, but I really felt like he immediately thought, I deserved that. Yeah. I deserved that for getting arrogant. Complacency. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, I, I had some, this is the one I had questions about, about trying to find little hacks and things to things yes. to do. I don't think, I think quite often I think about these when I'm watching the show. If I was actually doing it, I would, I would yeah, have just started trying to build gone. a terrible wet cardboard yeah. tower. Yeah. Um, could you, okay, a few things. The steps that were there. Yeah. That were there ostensibly to yeah. so you oh, could build a tower. A tower. Could, could you use them as, exactly? Yeah. Could you put a tiny? Could you put the yogurt top on top of that and push all of the steps over? You're right. I felt like oh, that is that a test? This is some yeah. sort of because I felt like they were a mockery anyway. Those steps, like the idea that yeah. people were going to use the you know get yeah. an amazing tower that they needed to go up to the top of that. But although I suppose, mind you, once you have the ladder, I mean the you know the thing that Mike found. Yeah. That, that should have possible. been it, really, shouldn't it? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you're the one who's done it. Would they have let you? Because it was quite a a dangerous. Yeah. Oh no, they don't. <laughs> big I... old metal. They don't. Oh, really they'd mind have been fine that. with that. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you stand there. I'll knock this yeah. onto you. <laughs> this is the, the task where, mo I mean, people have been most angry with Alex. I think. Yeah, quite rightly. Yeah. <laughs> well, when he said, when he said to Sarah. It just hasn't been built very well. I was like, I think I would have, you know, yeah. claws, claws into his face, like probably gets, jumping on his back. He gets sassier and sassier. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. really does. Also, I think they cut out quite a lot of his sass as well. Because I think he's really, he's so cheeky during those tasks. And then occasionally one really up, lands. Yeah. And then, but yeah, he really likes to wind. I mean, I'm easily wound up, so he doesn't need to do much <laughs> to me. Would you be ang would you be angry? Would you be an angry person if you were doing it, or if, just frustrated? I think it might turn into anger if if I felt like he yeah the sass thing that that yeah. sort of troubles me. Yeah. Uh, if he said it's just not a very well well built tower, I would have been like you fucking try it. <laughs> <laughs> and the the je but the gesture where. But then the gesture that he did to Lee, where he does the sort of no, yeah, whatever, the, the, yeah. whatever that gesture's called, yeah. um, I think I would have found that funny. Though. Like, I really found it funny how angry Lee yeah. was. Because I think that's about the sportsman in yeah. Lee. And yeah, the, totally. And, and Alex enjoying the sports sign language. Um, but that, that to me was like, it's just like you've, got, you've got some yogurt that hasn't landed in yeah. a square and you're trying to make this into a sporting event. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Woo! When do you think you might start building? Look, mate, 
<laughs> give me four hours to chop down a tree. I'm going to spend three hours sharpening the blade. Task three. This is great. I love this one. Uh, look the most different in four photos taken by the camera. The camera will spin around three times and will take a picture every time it faces the frame. You, mean, you must not hinder the camera or the spinning mechanism in any way. You must be in all four photos. Most varied set of photos wins. The camera will start spinning in 20 minutes from now. I love how long the tasks are getting now because they clearly have <laughs> yeah, decided, obviously, yeah, what they want is four photos from everyone of you know yeah. everyone doing something different that's the task that's what the funny stuff is they know what the goal yeah. is but they just want to stop people going well what <laughs> if i stop the camera <laughs> yeah. they just want to stop jamali setting fire to it or yeah you may not it. stamp on the camera in any way <laughs> <laughs> yeah um this is this is great you you would have enjoyed yeah. this one as well i right? would have absolutely loved it yeah the, yeah. the dress the dressing up the theatricality yeah, yeah. um yeah, amazing. I sort of felt sorry for Sarah because she's so distinctive. You know, yes. she's not going to be a master of disguise. <laughs> she looks like a... You know how um, uh, they say that the best cartoon characters, you can tell what they are from the silhouette. The silhouette, you can tell yeah. tell who they are from the silhouette. And Sarah has that. Yeah, um, she so really like, does. Yeah, you know, she's going to... And she did really well, like her Cousin It style. Thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, she, You're right. She had to, rather than do different characters, it was just her and... <laughs> different situations it's yeah, like yeah. um stances yeah like really bad old uh, actors headshots <gasps> yes and this is me with a hat and yeah. this is me with a moustache yeah yeah in fact it's like um you know in arrested development tobias fionke has his headshots and i think there's one of him as a tennis player or like him like <laughs> doing loads yeah, of different things yeah the sweatband is a, yeah. it's a classic <laughs> like oh who is this with part, of their, <laughs> part of their forehead missing i don't know who they are <laughs> I'm looking for a guy with a sweatband on in my new TV show. That's perfect. Um, yeah, the, I mean, we've had Sarah on the podcast and she does, yeah, she said most of the messages she's received from people are about her hair. And I don't think that's going to stop anytime soon when she pulled the whole thing over her face and Incredible. put her glasses on. Glasses. And then it was just an amazing moment where she just pushed it all back and just... <laughs> yeah, she's iconic. like a lion. I mean, you know. Yeah, well, she's a young, she's a young lion. Man. She's not the sad old lion. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She's the new one they've introduced She's in, in a the cage. Prime. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They've popped her in the cage and it's made the big sad line even sadder. <laughs> but I thought Sarah's was pretty good. Um, Lee's was pretty good. Too. I mean, I think Lee couldn't explain. I think he panicked. Like, melon breast lobster penis. You can't really explain what that is, right? What, what? I don't really understand what the penis bit, like... I think, what? was it supposed to be grit like a lobster had attacked his crotch? <laughs> I don't know why then he had the melon was breast. It, was it supposed to be? Yeah, was it supposed to be? I really hope he gets people following him round art yeah. galleries and whatever, <laughs> asking, well, Lee, what was that? Was it supposed to be that a lobster had attacked your penis? I wish there's, it, an amazing, gonna... there's an amazing story um, in Dawn French's autobiography where she says that the first time that she saw her dad's dick, she, she'd she never seen one before, so she thought... That is, it was a, a little monster attacking him, and she went and grabbed it and tried to pull it off. Can you imagine? Oh, great! That's Absolute so funny. You'd be it's going to change myself. the way I see penises from now on. Yeah, good. Um, <clears throat> because the other, his other characters were slightly more recognisable. Yes, the builder, superhero, and of the course, cow. West Country Woman on a Cow. <laughs> Cow bitch, yeah, <laughs> which I loved. I yeah, loved I did as well. Also, I, to drag really the cow loved... over. Yes, a lot of a lot of weird effort there. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, certainly more effort it. than than Jamali put in. Oh my god, that the the final photo of Jamali made me laugh. I think more than more than anything else in the episode. So it really looked like you know his his nan had said, "Oh Jamali, we don't have any nice photos of just you looking like yeah. Jamali." And he was like, yeah. "All right, I'll do this." He really understood that that somehow that was more different than anything. Yeah. You know, like an impressionist going, "And this is just me." <laughs> and then he was like. I took my glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> it would almost like it. W I would have been let down if he'd made an effort. Oh yeah, no, it would. Have he been did it perfectly. He's perfectly in persona. Is exactly what you want from Jamali, builder, um, rich dude, white dude. <laughs> so good, because even when when the task was revealed, he said, "Have you got a beard trimmer?" Yeah, 
and oh, obviously then been... Alex was like, yeah, oh, oh he must have been so God. excited. And then so he's like, excited. no, obviously I don't want that. That's far too much effort yeah, and I'm not ashamed imagine. of my beard. Imagine, yeah, and you're right, that would have been very upsetting to see yeah. Jim Mullally actually <laughs> <laughs> make that much effort. No one yeah. wants that. He got two points. He deserved one. He absolutely should have got yeah. one point for that. It was yeah. very bad, yeah. but it was very funny. Was really bad, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, and I really enjoyed him saying, I don't know what you people do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really. He got it right. He pretty much got it right. Yeah. Uh, golf. That's what I do. Um, I mean, Alex has a golf YouTube channel, so he absolutely nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mike's, I mean, as soon as they showed Mike oh, as the cat oh. warming up to be a cat, I was like, this is so <laughs> up Mike Street, this whole task. I feel Meow. like he could, he could build a whole sitcom out of, yeah. <laughs> out of this Out of all those task. characters. Yeah. He got so into it, even he to the extent... He built a wall. He built a wall, <laughs> and then the spaceman... He was going, I'm going on a journey into the unknown. It's like, it's a photo. You don't need to say anything out loud. But you just get the impression that he's he's just enjoying himself. Like he's oh. finding he's finding a way to enjoy himself. Yeah. He almost forgets that the task is the yeah. thing. He's just, totally. he's just transformed into a spaceman with pipe arms. I just want to be one of Mike's kids. I bet it's so much fun all yeah. of the time. Yeah. I, I thought it absolutely deserved the, the five points. It was, yeah. it was brilliant. Although Charlotte's octopus was very good, I mean, so I, I was thinking, I think I could have spent all of the time just making that because how long they had twenty minutes was it? Uh, yes, twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. I was I was really impressed with her. Fence. The thing is with Charlotte's is that I think she was like the fence was such a good idea. So the fact that she did the octopus was great, but then on the other side was just. <laughs> some of her clothes so it was a bit pointless <laughs> using it for that she could have had something as inventive as the octopus it would have been great it was i great mean she could have just had a head and it would yeah. have been better yeah a exactly <laughs> or a fence yeah just a lady a behind fence. a fence would have been great but as greg described it boring t-shirt head girl <laughs> which charlotte very politely pointed out it was just her clothes so she <laughs> <laughs> what i see is a builder yeah, and then I see three pictures of Jamali from a catalogue. No, no, <laughs> wrong. completely wrong. Because you've got, you've got a builder, then you've got a banker, is the guy with the stick and the top hat. Yeah. Then you've got the banker off work playing golf. With the same stick. And then you've got a guy who I don't even know who that next, that last one is. At the time you said number two <laughs> is a rich dude and number three is a white dude. Because he's playing golf. Yeah. I have a very narrow view about what you people do. <laughs> <laughs> now, studio task. Um, would you enjoy the studio tasks? Do you think you'd be good at them, Margaret? Are you I, competitive in that environment? I am. I'm, I'm embarrassingly competitive in all environments and I loathe it about myself. So that's, a, that's not an <laughs> ideal taskmaster contestant, isn't it? Um, so, I mean, it tends to be that the people say, oh, we like the camaraderie of us all being there together. Like, I yeah. loved this series. As soon as the, the studio task involved everybody sabotaging. <laughs> that's, that's the first time that's ever happened yeah. to everyone just ganging up on, yeah. on someone. Um, so that, that feels like, yeah, a proper party atmosphere. So I think it, depends, it depends on the task. This sort of thing, I would have done what Charlotte did and cried. That's exactly yeah. like, like that thing. I mean, that was just amazing. I absolutely amazing. would have overshot and ruined it. I'd, I'd need a couple of goes to see how the fish Yeah, it's difficult works. to get your eye in for that sort of yeah. thing. So it was, it was shove, your, shove your fish onto the target using your mop. You must shove your fish within 10 seconds of Alex laying down your fish. <laughs> Furthest from the target, 10 <laughs> seconds after each round is eliminated. Last shover shoving wins. So it's incredible that Charlotte, up until this point, has nearly got maximum points. She's dropped <laughs> yeah. one point in the whole episode. She's the first one to step up, and she absolutely just fucks the fish like, off the end of it. Literally throws it away. Like it's it's, it's just a kind of ah, oh, I'm winning. Yeah, ah, exactly. I don't think destroy. her brain could handle it, and yeah. she was just like, "Well, I can't, I can't be doing this. Just do that, yeah. and it's over." It was amazing. And she said something like, "I give up," or "I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. going," or something at the end. And I was like, "Oh wow, that's a proper." Um, no, you've just been eliminated. You don't yeah. get to say, "Oh, I give up." It's like, no, you're 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 so shit. You don't get to. Go. It's like, yeah, trying to trying to leave your job once you've been fired. <laughs> That's not going to work. I always love when the fact that the stage is called the Nappet is mentioned. Yeah. Me too. I mean, what a legacy <laughs> Jess Nappet's left. I feel like they should show that clip every time they mention it oh, as well. I've, well, I've watched that so many times. That might be one of my favourite Taskmaster moments ever. 
her taking a dive off the end of that because she's oh god well look because there's this there's the build-up to it of um yeah. of like we're not gonna we're not gonna be blindfolded no one's gonna fall off yeah. the stage and then just are immediately and there's that <laughs> silence afterwards where everyone's like oh god is she okay yeah um and so uh, i was already laughing shamefully <laughs> if i was there that silence would have been filled by me squawking Going, ah! <laughs> um so it was one point for charlotte immediately um uh, it was one point. One point for Lee. Was it one point for Lee as well? It was one it? point for Lee. Yeah, because yeah, he he. Yeah, I didn't really understand how he did worse than Ch- or as b- badly as. I, I think they did. They both went out in the first round. I guess. But he didn't. Yeah, but he didn't go off the stage. Did no. He? Like so, I felt but like that was a bit harsh. What I loved about it though is that I think it was actually James A. Castor has pointed out to me that Jamali is truly happy only when Lee messes something up. <laughs> So when Lee doesn't get points, or like like in the salt and sugar thing where they all knew that Mike and Lee had failed, but they didn't know yet, and yeah. Jamali was like, "I couldn't, I couldn't wait to see you." <laughs> Here, when Lee punts uh, punts the fish too short, when he when he just like knocks yeah. it and it's behind everyone else's, you've never seen Jamali that happy. I've like got he to go back and watch. It. Loses it. <laughs> He's over the moon. It's great. Especially as Lee has just said, I like Jamali, because Jamali says, put that down quick, I'm going to come and do it. It's like properly yeah, ordering yeah, out. Yeah. And Lee goes, oh, I like Jamali. And then Lee fails and Jamali's like, ah, <laughs> so good. Because <laughs> I think that there's, they're so the opposite of each other, aren't they? Yeah. Um, that kind of, yeah, Lee, Lee's alpha compressed, like repressed rage and, and all of that. <laughs> and, and, and just Jamali watching somebody, yeah, when somebody sets themselves up like that. And then, yeah. Oh, it's great. terrible. It is um, enjoyable. It's five points for Mike. Mike's very good at the studio tasks. Uh, yes. Four points for Sarah, three points for Jamali, and then one point for both Lee and Charlotte. So I really loved, and uh, Mike was really apologetic about, about winning as well. At the end, you can see him saying sorry to yeah. Sarah. I really enjoy Mike. I mean, it all, in almost every task, Mike says, um, do you mind if, and he's practically saying, do you mind if I try and attempt the task? <laughs> you know, as if Alex is going to go, actually, no. And I feel no. like Mike would just sit there and just wait. Yeah. And be like, oh, okay, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait. He's like, do you mind if I go and find some things that would help me achieve what you just asked me to do? It's very frustrating seeing someone nail it, but also be nice. Like, oh, on, awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, exactly. You want the opposite. You want Lee. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You want Lee to do well. Terrible. You'd be like, well, he was a bit of a dick about it. Yeah. <laughs> um so uh it look Charlotte tried to throw it away but she couldn't manage it she still won the episode with so a very impressive 20 her. points. Oh I, I'm it's so happy relief. for her. Charlotte 20 points uh, then Mike second 18 points Sarah 16 points Jamali 13 and Lee bad episode for Lee after a good run of form 9 points. So uh, series 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 oh, points wise. Say it. Bearing in mind I think Sarah was 20 points ahead at one point. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Was really streaking out in front and it was, it was almost, it was looking not not boring, but you know what I mean? Like it, yeah, no, it does. It is a little bit boring. You you want want tension, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, She's on 143. Mike's now on 137. Lee's on 132. Jamali's on 125. And Charlotte's on 118. So honestly, Aww. even Charlotte, I mean, she's not, she's not going <laughs> to win. She's not but, going to. But Is she's, it possible for her to win? I, I mean, everybody else would have to. Maybe if everyone else. Score you know, yeah. yeah. If they lost all the tapes to their tasks or something. <laughs> Maybe and they only had That's, Charlotte's left. That is going to be a shit episode, yeah. to be fair. <laughs> I don't think they put it out. Let's see what Charlotte did. <laughs> she still lose the episode somehow. <laughs> yes, somehow. <laughs> One point for everything. Um, so, uh, yeah, 118 points for Charlotte. I don't think she's in with a sniff of winning, but no. the rest of them, sort of, Sarah it's is now nowhere, nowhere near as, uh, as far ahead as she was, and Mike is catching up, and Lee could do it as well. Do you have any predictions? Do you do you think I do mean, you think Mike can steal it off Sarah? It's interesting, isn't it? Because they do like Mike has such a unique comedy brain. And like yeah. he's so, he's so, um, but yeah, is he consistent? I d- I don't think so. I think Sarah's going to win it. I think yeah. she just has those all around skills. Yeah, um, you're right. I think she's yeah. It's the consistency that matters here. And I think yeah, Mike could have a terrible episode ten. Yes. Well, if Mike's 
bowels holds up, then maybe... <laughs> Can you imagine if the rest of it is just him shitting himself in every oh, task? God. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> yeah, because no, we I, don't I've... know... We don't know what tasks came after the the bum thing, right? Oh, you're right. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think I think Mike could do it if he has a stunning episode ten. But if Sarah yeah. just keeps her head down and is consistent, then yeah. And I think might, that it Lee, might, yeah. it's weird because even the things you expect Lee to be good at, because he he's actually weirdly sporty in lots yeah. of ways. But um, I feel like the tension has got to him. I feel like his uh, yeah, he's, he's choked a bit. His mind's gone. I almost think now now and again he's not wearing his evil Knievel jacket because it's too warm. So it happened today in the oh. yoghurt task. He's just wearing shorts and a T-shirt because it's clearly too warm for him to wear a big leather jacket and a helmet. Um, <laughs> I think that... that's when he doesn't do as well, when he doesn't, when he doesn't he have his jacket on. the uniform. Yeah. He needs the costume. Yeah. Oh, my God. Sometimes he's dressed as evil Knievel and then sometimes he's dressed as a dad on holiday. <laughs> You're right, just a shouting dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on the Taskmaster podcast, oh, Margaret. It's a um, we always ask our guests to rate their experience on the podcast between one and five points in the style of Taskmaster. Feel free to rate it however you feel. You say that, Ed, but I've got your little face in yes. front of me. Correct. <laughs> I can only give it five. And listen, you need to go back and get a point off Joe Brand because she thought she was marking herself. On Taskmaster. Yes. Her. Yeah. <laughs> so you really are across this, I... <laughs> actually. Do you want to host the podcast I'm about like... this podcast? Yeah, no, that is my intention. <laughs> and, I, and I will be really slating every episode. <laughs> like, really going to town yeah. on you. I mean, Josh Whittacombe gave it five skills. points, but it, this episode didn't deserve it, actually. <laughs> very poor stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much, Margaret. Absolute pleasure. There we go. What a great episode with Margaret. Thank you so much. She really is a proper Taskmaster fan. She knows her shiz. Remind you again to listen to the Do The Right Thing podcast that she co-hosts. It is truly excellent. And also check her out on Motherland. And you can find that on iPlayer after that. Thank you very much for listening. We're coming to the end of Series 11. Really thank you for listening. I get a lot of correspondence about this podcast. uh, And most of it's good. So thank you very much for that. Uh, It's the final episode next week special things planned i'm sure uh who who will win this is the big question uh it's actually not the big question for a lot of people really is it it's i care about that sort of thing but as i'm constantly told by other people the winner doesn't matter it's been a great series who will win we all win because taskmaster's brilliant email us taskmasterpodcast at gmail.com with your predictions with your questions with anything you damn well please until then keep watching taskmaster and i will see you next week Bye! Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let go, Alex, let go. I'm toppling in three, two, one. <laughs> Bullshit! 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 That was so close to the six if it had been to the right. That is soul destroying. I put so much effort into that. Were you holding that when I let go? I was holding it until you told me to stop holding it. And then did you in any way grab it? I didn't grab it. That was going like that and something took it to the left. I'm just going to check the numbers. You don't have to check. You can see it's not gone anywhere near. Don't do that. That's very irritating. It's really disappointing. Yeah. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.